Students at the Oakwood School took part in their first STEAM Challenge Day after creating a new National Honor Society. Nine of your sides, Adriana Hargrove spoke with them about the activities and why it's an important organization to be a part of. Students from Oakwood School and Fayetteville Academy put their problem solving skills to the test by competing in various different activities today dealing with STEAM related topics. Chris Young, the Innovation Lab facilitator for the school, says they saw a need for high schoolers interested in science, technology, engineering, or math. Recently, we were looking for one to join as an International STEAM Honor Society and realized there is none. So we sort of took it upon ourselves to create one here. So we started our Rho Sigma Omega, which is a National STEAM Honor Society for any high schooler to be able to join. Young says students competed in teams doing activities like drone flying, building mechanical cars, and they even had a competition where they had to build a structure that could provide power to an entire city. It sounds hard, but STEAM students say otherwise. I don't have a whole lot of drone experience, so this was fun to just take a drone around a course for the first time and talk to some other kids from other schools. Now Young says Rose Sigma Omega will look good on students resume after they graduate high school. One Fayetteville Academy student says this is an opportunity. She has two STEAM related scholarships and plans to major in computer science at NC State. STEAM really isn't boring. I mean it's so great to explore all the different avenues. I mean seeing a um, robot like solve a Rubik's Cube or just pick something up and knowing that you created it and you did it is just amazing and I don't think it's something you get in any other field. Now Young tells me 25 other schools have reached out to join Rose Sigma Omega and once those schools join they'll be able to compete in bigger competitions. In Greenville, Adriana Hargrove, 9 on your side.